I'm Laura Cornelius and these are your highlights from the first heat of live cross-conference action from the GPL Las Vegas Summer Series. It was the heads-up match that everyone had been waiting for, not only for the debut of The Cube, but also for the three-time Emmy Award-winning actor Aaron Paul for LA Sunset. He would be facing off against Paris Aviator, manager Fabrice Soulier, who had just flown in from Europe. It was both their first time in the queue playing live in the GPL and Aaron started the first game of three very well. Both players talking honestly and candidly with one another. It was hand 15 where Aaron was able to bring in the first big pot, holding ace king. Fabrice with the ace 10. The flop went down, queen 10-6, Aaron checking behind Fabrice. But a king on the river meant a big pot for Aaron. But Aaron's clock was running short with only three minutes remaining on it. But luckily for him, the last hand was sevens for the LA Sunsetter and it was able to hold against Fabrice's Jack-4. So Maria Ho's side was able to win the first game and three points of the match. Ace on the turn, 7% chance for Fabrice. Match number one, excuse me, game number one goes to Aaron Paul. That's three points to the LA Sunset, Maria Ho. In game two, the play lasted a little longer. In hand 22, Fabrice had King Jack, Aaron 10-8. Fabrice hit the flush, Aaron made a bluff. Fabrice not believing he had the ace and winning the pot. But soon enough, Fabrice was able to bring the match back to evens, winning the second game for Paris, taking three points to level things out. Ford now, total Another action diamond. killer. Oh, so even when Fabrice runs good, he runs bad. That's really, really gross run out. Great check back by Aaron. His spidey sense tingling that for I mean, when you're Aaron and all that money goes in on the flop, right? You're thinking one of the best case scenarios is that you're up against diamonds and then the diamond peels off. So it really feels like a you have to check back the turn. Absolutely. And Fabrice is now bet super small on the end, trying to get paid whatever way he can. Yeah, I mean, I do like. And Aaron Fabrice's looks like bet he's sizing. gonna fold. Oh, that's like he's thinking about raising. I mean, that would be sick if he tries to turn it into a bluff. Yup. Wow. wow. Wow, he does. That's so sick. Okay. And Fabrice, try some Fabrice did make wow. the call, though. Didn't really He's think about me. it for very long. It was one all with a lot of pride on the line for Paris versus LA. In hand 35, Aaron remained cool as ice as he hit his set on the flop with ace five. But maybe Fabrice was able to pick up on his bet sizing from Aaron at this point as he correctly folded his hand. In hand 72, Aaron found Jack-3, Fabrice with ace-queen, Jack-6-2 was the flop and Fabrice grabbed the lead. The river jack meant Aaron took the best hand now, betting the river with trips and we saw an amazing fold from Fabrice. Picking up on the behind. Hand, I mean, whatever Olivier Bousquet is charging for uh, training, it's not enough. It's a little bit like you as a I want to learn how to do know? this. Mm. No, it's a little smaller than that, but same kind of situation where I'm gonna fall like you did, because I think you have a jack. Wow. Yeah. Amazing rebound to Bruce. Wow. Nice. I don't think I would have been able to get it. Aaron crept ahead more, but his time was about to run out and he was soon to enter the hot seat mode again. But he didn't let it affect him too much, as within a few more hands, he became the winner of the first summer series heat. LA Sunset now being taken up to 101 points, still in second place though behind the Montreal Nationals. Paris Aviators stay in fourth place in the Eurasian Conference with 89 points.